It is good for 675 horsepower. Oh yeah. Hello and welcome to Zip Tide. Today we're going to be mounting the body and we're also going to be doing a bunch of little things that make me just more happy about this thing. Okay, so last time we were working on this thing, what we ended up doing was basically building up a lot of the tubes that are inside the chassis of this thing. So, you know, the door bars, the X bar, all the transmission mount and all that, that was done last time. What we're doing this time is we're gonna be mounting this body. So what that is, is there'll be a bash bar under here that'll mount to the transmission mount. The front, really no ideas because this is gonna be a fiberglass front clip. So basically everything, here forward is gonna be gone. Other things on the list. I'm gonna get the pedals done. Not done, but in there at least, mounted, so then I can, you know, press them. Other thing I'm gonna try on is steering. Whether or not that gets done is really dependent on time. So we'll see what happens there. I also think I can get the gas tank, if, if not mounted, then at least being able to sit in there without being cocked to the side and looking funny. It hits this bar right here. So I gotta notch that out a little bit so I can, you know, get the tank in and out. So anyway, that's the game plan. I'm gonna get down to it. So that's the rear bumper pretty much done. It's not welded in fully, it's just tacked in for now, but I really like the look of this. It's actually giving the back of the car a pretty mean look. And I think it'll give us a nice little spot to mount the diffuser. So it'll kind of come up and mount up in this area. You know, it'll be very good. Also, if I were to ever get in a crash, hope that'd help. Onto the pedals. Okay, so next up is the pedals. So what that involves, this is an aluminum plate. It's quarter inch thick. It'll get the pedals added on to here. I'll drill out all the mounting holes for this, so this will be one piece. And then all that will sit on top of these brackets. They'll do it like that. And I will like that. So that's what that'll look like. That piece there gets transferred over. I'm still holding it. Boom, right there. It goes right there. It'll mount on top of this bar. It'll meet these two little holes on the subframe. And then I'm gonna add a little tube from here to there. Okay, so the pedal's also basically done now. So they turn out very nice. I like how this works. Um, they're pretty central, but that's okay because I gotta add a throttle pedal that goes right there. And then there's a dead pedal, you know, something to rest your left foot and it goes like right there. So that'll be perfect. It needs a little bit of reinforcement to keep from flexing this way, but it is awesome and it does a great job and I love these pedals. All right, so the game plan with steering is I'm gonna do three U-joints. There's gonna be one here. It's gonna bring the steering shaft up like this and it's gonna bend down in that way, and then a third one basically underneath the dash to straighten it out and bring it to me. On the steering wheel side, I got this ridiculous little piece. It's a Momo, very tiny wheel. Like it doesn't do you just, or doesn't do it justice. Maybe if I like sit it. No, that didn't do it. Maybe it did, it's tiny. It's very tiny, it's the way I like it. It's not round, also the way I like it. And it'll be right there in a second. Okay, 
Okay, so this is version one of my steering setup. It's not good, but it does let me sit in here and steer my car, or at least pretend that I can. Currently, it's got an issue where it can kind of move around a lot and telescope a little bit. I'll show you over here because I can actually reach the shaft. But uh, it's free to kind of do that. And I don't know about you, but when I'm driving a car, I don't want the steering wheel to do that. So, uh, what's gonna happen is, put you back in place. All right, so it looks like this right now. I'm gonna cut this bracket shorter, move this further down this way, and then I'm gonna get another one of these support bearings and put it right here. That should keep it from like telescoping like that, because I don't think it'll give it a way to move. You know, you kind of learn things as you go along. This is just one of them. I was told two support bearings for a three U joint system. And that's probably true if you have a normal steering column, but I don't. On to what I'm doing now. So I'm going to mount the fuel cell in here. Actually. Okay, so the tubes are all notched out in the gas tank area. Uh, you can see that. It's right there. You can see it's a little 90 degree. That'll have a little patch piece put in it so it doesn't just be an open tube. And then right now I've got the gas tank spaced up about two inches from where it you know, would sit if it was as low as it could go. That way I can route coolant lines and shifter cables and all that goodness underneath it. What I'm doing now is I got my last uh, support bearing. That thing right right there, got another one of those. I'm gonna put it on this little intermediate shaft here, kind of up towards that U-joint. I'm gonna move that one back towards that U-joint. In summary, big things have happened. I can now steer this car. I can pretend I'm pressing the pedals. There's a gas tank that isn't crooked and I have a rear bumper that'll hopefully save my life. So this is like a lot of progress and it may not seem like it, but I, it, this gives me just like jazzed or what, whatever you wanna say. It makes me very happy. I like to just, you know, come out here, sit in this thing. It's awesome. And I think this just makes it more awesome. All right, so the next piece of this puzzle that came in is this right here. This is the motor for the car. In fact, there it is. It's really small. Um, that's my hand for reference. It's pretty not substantial, but what it will pack is. So this is a IAG Performance Stage 2 Tough Block. It is good for 675 horsepower, it's a 2.5 liter. This thing will be turbocharged and probably push around 30-ish pounds of boost if I had to guess. And it will be a bad little motor. So realistically, what I plan to do with this motor is I wanted to make about 400 horsepower, you know, on a kind of a daily tune. But if I want, I wanna have a button that, I, the, you know, I push it. 100 more horsepower. I want to make 500 on a button, a scramble button, push to pass, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be cool and it's going to be crazy feeling. So that's that's the plan for this thing. It's going to get a 57 millimeter turbo. Uh, I mean, everything that I can put on it, big injectors, you name it, it's going to get it. It's going to be awesome. It will hopefully be reliable. I'm going to do everything I can oiling wise to keep it alive. But you see that now? Not now, but later it'll be in the car and it'll make that thing go really, really fast. Next time, what I plan on doing is I want a bar to go from here, follow the line down. Uh, then also maybe you wanna try doing a V or cross or an X, something in the roof, you know, strengthen everything up, make it safer, all that good stuff. Maybe get the body a little bit more mounted in the front, possibly the headlight buckets if I find time to do it. Uh, 
I don't know if I mentioned I want to get maybe the fuel cell mounted. That'd be great. I'd love to see that permanently in there. But really, it's a clean slate. I don't know what to do. And I just kind of go by the seat of my pants. And so far, it has worked. So with that, I will see you next time. <laughs>